we are going hands-on with the Activity app for iOS 8.2. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog. Yes, indeed, we have the Activity app in hand right now. I've been playing with it for the last few hours, and it's pretty cool, I have to tell you. It is, as expected, an application that will allow you to track the activity long term uh, from your Apple Watch. Whereas the Apple Watch's activity app is geared more towards the day-to-day -day activities, this one, as you can see, is more about long term storage for all of your activity and fitness data. So you can go back to the previous year if you'd like to, you can go back to the previous month, the previous week and just look at a culmination of all of your statistics right there from the Activity app in iOS 8.2. So let's break it down a little bit further, shall we? Of course, you have the month view there. This is the month view, and you can swipe through the month view as we showed you. But you also can tap directly on a day. And of course, you can do this from the month view, or you can just tap on a day at the top of the day view. The little week bar there allows you to swipe through weeks just like this. You see March 10th. March 3rd, swipe again, February 24th, just like that. Now, if you're navigating through the month view or even the day view and you wanna get back to the current day really quickly, well, you can just tap this little button in the upper right-hand corner right here, and that'll take you back to the current day. Today's March 18th, 2015. Now, while in the day view, you'll see all of your activity data related to move, exercise, and stand. And each section contains a graph, a 24 hour graph actually. Now there's no data here because I don't have an Apple Watch just yet. I wish I did so I could show you the data, but right now it's just blank. So you start off with 12 a.m., go to 6 a.m., noon, and then 6 p.m., and it starts over again. Now, if you swipe left on any of the graphs, you'll get additional data about that particular activity. So stand gives you hours stood, idle hours. Uh, you get different data depending on the activity that you swipe on. So exercise, if you swipe on it, gives you exercise minutes, total active time, obviously no data there. And then if you swipe on move, you get active calories, resting calories, oh, I do get something there, and total calories, which is just resting calories because, well, I don't have any other calories calculated yet. So that was an overview of the history tab. Now let's talk about something a little different. Let's talk about achievements. Achievements are personal goals or milestones that can be reached that are acknowledged by the Activity app. Now inside the Achievements tab, you'll find a total of 19 different badges. And if you tap on a badge, it'll expand and show you specific details about that achievement. So here's the perfect week achievement for all activity. Earn this award when you complete all three activity goals every day of a single week, Monday through Sunday. Wow. Now there are other goals. Some are harder than others. This one obviously is going to take a while. This is going to take you approximately 2.7 years. So you may want to get started as soon as you get your Apple Watch. Special thanks to Hamza Sood. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.